Have you ever thought about your favorite Christian songs? Do you ever reflect on what you actually sing when you are in church worshiping your God? The words in the, of the songs that you sing, are they rejoiceful songs of deliverance from eternal damnation? Or are they songs of salvation, songs of joy, songs of love, songs of faith, songs of forgiveness, songs of what a mighty God we serve? I'm convinced that if worship leaders took over the average church, if the pulpit, the Bible thumpers in the pulpit, if the preachers had to sit down and become a member of the pew army and worship leaders took over the average church, the church would teach universal salvation because the worship leaders are already teaching Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. Listen to the songs. Listen to the music. Our hearts are in line with universalism. Our hearts are in line with the victorious gospel of Jesus Christ, the Savior of, in, of the entire world. We sing that every Sunday. And I, I uh, speak to you worship leaders. You know what is in your heart. And in your heart is not a salvation of eternal damnation. In your heart is praise. In your heart is worship. In your heart is adoration for the Most High God and His Son, Jesus Christ, who indeed on the cross has made the way for the salvation of the entire world. I urge you worship leaders out there, start a revolution begin to preach what you sing and what you write because what you sing in your choruses and what you sing in your worship uh, associations, your worship uh, teams, you sing what I'm preaching. You sing universalism. You sing the victorious gospel of Jesus Christ. You sing that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to God's glory and not his shame. And those of you who are listening to your worship leaders and your choir directors, join that chorus. Believe what you sing. You're singing universalism. You're singing universal salvation through Jesus Christ. Rise up and worship with your heart and get rid of that trashy theology that you've swallowed from the pulpits of the world's churches. It's time for a revolution, a revolution of worship. And when you worship God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and all your strength, you will put down, you will step on that snake that says that Jesus couldn't complete what he came to finish. He came to save the world, but sin, self, Satan was just too powerful for him. What a wimpy gospel. What a shameful gospel. What a disgraceful gospel. And it's time that we Christians rise up from that mire, from that filth, from that lie, from the evil one, and declare Jesus Christ, Savior of the world, loser of none. Love, Jesus, wins all.